All right, hey, what's up, guys? Nick White here. Uh, do tech and coding stuff on Twitch and YouTube, and yeah, it's cool, right? Yep, very cool, right? Haha. <laughs> Um, this is the longest substring without repeating characters. So this is given a string, find the length of the longest substring, substring meaning part of the string, that doesn't have repeating characters. So in this case, you know, this is a substring, any, this is a substring, this is a substring, and as long as it doesn't have repeating characters, we want the longest version that doesn't have repeating characters, right? So... You know, this doesn't have repeating characters in its length too, but this does have repeating characters, so that doesn't count. You know, anything with repeating characters, um, you know, doesn't count. So right here, this is the longest one in this case. B is only one because it's just one character is the longest one because all of them are Bs. And then we have, you know, PW is the longest I'm seeing here. And then we see, okay, WKE right there. There we go, WKE. Um, so yeah, pretty easy. It's literally just a sliding window problem. Um, like we just did, I just did one a couple minutes ago, so it's very familiar to me. Um, basically what you're going to have is you're going to have two pointers and you're going to set them both to the beginning and you're going to have one pointer keep going. One pointer is going to stay at the beginning and one pointer is going to move the wind, you know, expand the window um and go and s make sure that none of the characters are the same right so one of them's going to be sitting at a and then one of them's going to go okay a is new b is new c is new and we're going to add these to a hash set hash set's good for this because hash sets keep track of unique things and then once we see another a we're going to say oh we already saw a and then you have that other pointer at the beginning and you're like, okay, get rid of that A. And we'll just keep a maximum throughout the whole thing. So whenever the window, we're expanding the window with our two pointers and we're gonna keep a maximum to keep track of when the window is the biggest, meaning the longest substring with unique characters. Okay, that's it, so pretty easy. So you can call your pointers whatever you want. Um, we can do I and J, we can do A pointer, B pointer. Um, I'm going to do I and J just because I wrote it with A pointer, B pointer a second ago and it got a little bit messy. Um, so we have, these are our pointers. This is going to sit at the beginning. This is going to go out and make sure that everything's distinct. And then we're going to have our max. Okay, and then we need a hash set of characters. This uh, will only hold up to a certain number of characters. I mean, how many distinct characters are there? If we're counting... Uh, if it's alphanumeric, that's a little bit more, but if we're just counting letters of the alphabet in lowercase or uppercase, um, it's really not that big, 26, or, um, you know, that's, that's, or depending on what the character set is that we're using, but, um, uh, it's not going to be scaling with the data, you know, it's unique characters, so it's, it's the biggest it's ever going to get is whatever our restrictions are, so it's not anything we have to worry about. Um, it's all, you can technically count it as constant. It's not going to go up to a million or anything like that. So then we're going to be looping here. Um, we'll use a while loop. So the J, the second pointer that's going out and making sure that we're finding, have all distinct characters, this is going to get to the end. The one that's expanding the window is going to get to the end before the one that sits at the beginning. So we're going to do a check to say, okay, while J is less than S dot length. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to say, okay, um, if the hash set, if hash set dot contains um, s dot char at i, or uh, b, I mean j, because j is our second pointer that's going out and uh, moving along here. If the hash, so s dot char j first is a, right? They're both at a. A, i and j are pointers. I think it's a little bit easier to do this, actually, now that I'm thinking about it, you know? The, we're going to use pointers. Um, a pointer or b pointer. A pointer is going to sit at the beginning. B pointer is going to go out and expand the window. So if our character at our b pointer that's going to expand the window, they're both at the first character right now. If the character of the string, if the first character of the string is not in the hash set, okay, well, let's add it to the hash set. We said we found a new character. So we'll say, okay, hash set dot add, and we'll add our new character here. See, the only point I didn't want to do it is because of all the parentheses. Okay, there we go. 
Um, so we add it to our character and then we increment it. We only increment the second pointer to keep going out and it expanding the window. And um, yeah, that's it. And then each time we see a new character, and this is the case where we see a new character because the hash set doesn't contain it yet, we're also going to update the max. So we're going to say, okay, max is equal to math.max of, um, you know, whatever the hash set size is, because this is how many unique characters we have against the current max. So we update the maximum each iteration when we find a new unique character with the hash set size, because that's the size of all the unique characters we have. Okay, we're on a roll here now. And the only other case is, okay, this character is already in the hash set. So if the character is already in the hash set, meaning we find a duplicate, so if B is already in the hash set and we find a new B, we're gonna have to remove from the beginning. We're gonna remove an old character and all you have to do to do that is you do hash set dot remove s dot char a pointer. And that's because a pointer is the previous, the, you know, the last character that we saw. So, and at that point, we're just gonna increment a character, the index of the first pointer. So it's a sliding window, you know, they both start here. B, the B pointer goes out, the second pointer goes out and expands the window and we see three and we're updating this max. So it goes one, two, okay, one, two, three. We found three unique characters. They're all in the hash set. We keep, we update the max to three because that's the hash set size. Then we see A, oh, it's already in the hash set. Okay, well, we have that other pointer at the beginning. We pop it out of the hash set. So now it's BCA. We keep checking against the max. Nothing's going on though, you know, cause it's still three. And then we see B up, oh, that's already in. We pop it out, you know, and you just move along. It's like a little sliding window. Uh, that's the whole problem. Hopefully I made that clear. Let me know if you guys have any questions. I'm trying to do these uh, pretty well, but you know, obviously, you know, it's been a while since I did all the leak codes. So let me know if you guys have any advice for me to make this better. I've been playing with the microphone level levels nonstop and I'm having a difficult time. So I'm sorry if you're unhappy with the microphone levels. Um, while J is less than, uh, we, we remove J. Sorry for switching up on you guys in the middle of that as well. S dot length, it's lowercase s. Sorry for the errors as well, you know? Not the best. Oh my gosh, guys, I'm an idiot. Okay, bear with me. There we go, success, finally. Yeah, you know, I'm not that good, I guess, apparently, but that's uh, this is a good solution because the hash set is only gonna hold a certain amount of unique characters. There's not, we're not dealing with, what are the restrictions? Every alphabet in the world, including Chinese characters, then it might scale up a little bit more, but like, it's pretty much constant. We're not gonna get up to billions of, you know, different characters, it's a hash set. So um, in this case, it's pretty good. And it's linear runtime and linear, if it, worst case, it would be like, you know, linear space to, uh, or not even, it would be M, you know, O of N runtime, O of M for M will call the character set. So if there's a million alphabets or whatever, then, you know, that would be the size of it. All right, let me know what you guys think. Comment below, check out the Patreon, and uh, subscribe and like and all that stuff, and uh, see you guys.